Okay, we're back. And in our last video, part one, if you will, we were asked to show a little bit more about the studio and how we're putting this all together, how it all kind of goes together. And, and, and in the last video, I showed you the tracking room. So for those that are unfamiliar with some of this technology, as I was, as a you know 50 year engineer stereo guy, I have to learn a lot of it too. Uh, tracking rooms are what we would normally, what I would have called the studio. And, but you know, if you're the cool guy and you use cool guy terms, you call it the tracking room. Why? Because that's where we record the tracks. Okay. <laughs> See, even an old dog like me can learn tricks. Um, this room is as close as we can get it sonically to the tracking room. So you'll notice the same uh, wooden diffusers that we designed and custom made. There's a hundred of them in this building. That's a lot of wood and a lot of diffusers, but it makes for a very nice live sound. And that's what we're looking for. I don't want dead. I want live, something that would be mirroring the room that they're going to be played in. A as I mentioned yesterday, we're lucky in that at Octave Records, we know our audience. I don't care if one of our tracks doesn't sound good in a car. It'd be great if it did. I don't really care because that's not where we're selling it to. That's not the primary audience. The audience that we have, that we love, it's our hi-fi family. It's our community, people that we have known and, and, and done business with for years and years and years, or their relatives, I mean, on and on, right? There's probably, I don't know, we probably reach out to 100,000 people, something like that, all over the world. And we know what those people want because they want what we want, the best recordings in the world. So everything in this studio is, is DSD. We, we record everything in 4X DSD. What that means is the sample rate, how quickly we're taking those one-bit samples of DSD in through a Delta Sigma modulator, which is in the A to D converter in here for those sort of technically minded folk, um, that is done at, at single rate DSD, you're doing it at um, 64 times faster than the 48 or 44 kilohertz of a CD. So everything's measured off of the classic CD introduced by Philips, you know, in 1982 and Sony. And so 64 FS is single rate DSD, that's 64 times faster than 44. 256 is 256 times faster uh, than the uh, sample rate for CD at 44. And that is running at about 11 megahertz, 11.2 megahertz or so. So you can imagine this, this system, this Pyramix system is capable of as many as 64 channels of 4X DSD. Now, I don't think we've made anything more than about 48 channels, and that's a lot. That bandwidth is huge. This computer system, we've had to optimize this sucker. We've got, you know, um, high-speed SSD drives, dual ones in a, in, a, in a RAID configuration because the writing of the data is so fast and so big that in order to do all of this in real time and monitor all of that and mix and all, it's just, it, this, this thing is going, <coughs> but it does it and we do it for sound quality. It is just stunning. There is nothing like it in the world. And that's what this is all about. It's a fairly simple, it's a, it's a digital audio workstation. We make our recordings, we do our editing like anybody else, but it's all done in 4X DSD right off the bat, okay? And this is, you know, our standard, this is just a standard patch bay. And you've got your uh, A to D converters in here. These are all the Pyramix, they're called Happies, aw, isn't that nice? The, each one is 16 channels. So you got 32 channels in here. We've got another 16 channels out there and another 
16 channels in the mix room. And because everything here is hooked up on what's called a Ravenna network, because it's digital, every, well not the analog, so all the analog cabling comes in through these, um, these high-end cables that we built over here and then into the, the A to D converters. But once they're converted to digital, then we can put it onto the network. And you can imagine what kind of network that is. I mean, 48 channels running at 11 megahertz of high audio with no latency. Can't have latency. And, and latency, for those of you that don't know what that means, you can't have any delay. Can you imagine if a, a, an artist is strumming, he listening in his headphones all over a network, and he can't have any delay in there. So it, it's a very sophisticated network. So everything is available everywhere in the building. Any A to D, all the reverbs, those are analog spring reverbs over there, all that's available, all that in here on this system. So anyway, that is an overview. I'll show you here, I'll do my trick to move the camera, and you can see our, our lovely artist's lounge. <laughs> There you go, you get a couch. <laughs> and then we can move out into here, which is um, where if you're not playing, you're kind of hanging out in this area, which is kind of nice. Um, and then tomorrow, we're gonna talk about the mix room. So we'll do the mix room tomorrow. See you then. Thanks for being here, bye.